All right, hello YouTubers. You are back with Cougar's Closet and you are tuned in to my latest edition, Keeping Up with the Joneses, Too Much Upkeep. All right, before I start that, please allow me to tell you guys about my past weekend this past Saturday. Um, I attended a masquerade ball. A good friend of mine celebrated his 55th uh, birthday, which was downtown Decatur at the Arts and um, Council Center. I had never been to that place before, nor had I ever been to a masquerade ball before. So that was very, very exciting. So uh, please allow me to tell you um, real quick about the event and what all took place. So, like I said, um, it was here in Decatur, Illinois. A good friend of mine, Derek, um, he had a masquerade ball here in Decatur. It was very, very different. It was very elegant. It was very essential. There was a lot of like-minded people down there, just good old stumped down, earthy folks. Um, we were served cocktails. <laughs> We were served dinner, which consisted of um, turkey, brisket. I had never had a brisket before in my life. I don't know where I've been, but the brisket was so, so tender. And we were served potatoes. We were served salad. And we had entertainers there uh, to perform. We had one performing, uh, she did Whitney Houston, which was uh, Mrs. Seduction. And then we had another one. This was my first time seeing her. I've never seen her, but she was a powerful powerhouse with soul um, music. She, she was right. So um, we had my best friend, Maurice, that I speak to you guys about all the time. He was doing the commentating, keeping everything rolling. Uh, he was telling jokes, punchlines. I mean, he really, really had the show rocking. It was a good time. It was an open bar. Y'all, I had so many crown rolls. I had so many crown rolls. They started turning into muscle relaxers in there. Everything just started relaxing. Like I said, it was it was eccentric. The atmosphere was astonishing everybody looked it so nice when i tell you nothing was out of place no one was out of place uh the dj kept it rocking we really really had a good time and it was downtown decatur at the arts and council building and um like I said, it was just a good time. It was something different. It was something I never did before. So I'm hoping we can do that again. So uh, shout out to Derek. Congratulations on your 55th birthday. I'm hoping that we can do this again next year. So I just want to let Decatur know, um, if you didn't attend this uh, function right here, you really did miss out. We really, really had a different hint of mystery in there and and it had kind of like a New Orleans feel to it with a Chicago vibe to it it was it was just immaculate so once again shout out to you Derek I really really enjoyed the night everything was tasteful you were tasteful the people that you had around were tasteful the atmosphere was tasteful thank you for a good time now, moving along to my episode, Keeping Up with the Joneses, Let Them Go. I had decided to do this video right here because I have a lot of conversations with a lot of friends, you know, even sometimes strangers. You know, we just start talking, whatever the deal is. And I don't care who I talk to. The one thing we going to talk about, you have to have this conversation with me or you ain't going to get past me. We're going to talk about life because that's what's going on, right? Life. We gonna, that's, that's my main, main thing, life. 
So a lot of people that I speak with, they feel like, you know, they're not where they want to be at in life for their age. They haven't accumulated what they need to accumulate. Um, They're watching everybody else get by. Everybody is driving X, Y, and Z, and they stuck driving this car they had for the last five years. They can't figure out how everybody is doing this whatever the deal is, if you find yourself doing this, cut it out. Cut it out, cut it out, cut it out. You all over the place. Cut it out. It's very, very tempting to look around and see who has what, who's living where, who's driving what. And if you are not in that category the first thing you're going to do is notice what other people have, right? Because you notice that you don't have it. I have done this before. So, like I say, if you fall under this category, you're in the wrong place, first of all. You know, everybody wants to live that, that dream, that good old American dream. So it's just easy to fall prey to these type of things. And I'm not saying that one is not normal to feel this way. Because that is a normal feeling. But instead of conjuring up these feelings of envious or jealousy or, or, or you know, all these different emotions. It, it's best to find out how to go about getting these things. Talk to people that you see that's out here on the streets making these powerful moves. How can I get some of that? How can I incorporate uh, some of what you are doing into what I have? You know, I'm not trying to take everything over, but I'm trying to find out how to get to the next level. Well, for starters, you know, appreciate what you have. You have to appreciate what you have. There is no other way around it. That's the ground rule. Appreciate what you have. Because once you appreciate what you have, then, you know, you will start to appreciate what's to become. You know, a lot of people, um, they just want to jump out into the scene. They don't understand, like, there's levels to this. And there are. There, there are some deep levels to this. You know, you might not be exactly where you would like to be at in life. But you might not be on ground zero neither. You, you might have more ups going on than what you think you do. If you're a person that's in a house, look at some of these homeless people that's under the bridge saying, man, I wish... I had somewhere to live. If you're a person that's driving a car, it could be a beat-up car. It might not even be the car of your choice. Look at the person that's on a bicycle saying, Man, I wish I had a car. If you are a person that's in a wheelchair, look at some of these people walking, you know, and, and, and they say to themselves, Dang, I wish I could walk. You see what I'm saying? It boils down to appreciation. Everybody wants what they can't have. And and my main thing, what do I always say? Focus on what you have and work on what you have. And, and greater doors will open for you. There is levels to this. You just, nobody just jumps out overnight where they want to be, you know, doing what they want to do, then accumulated all of this money in their bank accounts. You know, nobody does this. And as far as when I say keeping up, you know, with the Joneses, I really, really want to give some passion to this thing because this is where people are getting this stuff confused at. So, you know, I want to elaborate this before we go, you know, jumping into this big rat race. I I want to let y'all know there's two sets of Joneses out here. Are you aware that there's two sets of Joneses out here? There's a Jones A... 
and there's a Jones B. Are you following Jones A? Or are you following Jones B? Because if you're following Jones B out here trying to get in here and create some magical moments and make some stuff happen, you in the wrong category. You you running behind the wrong set of Joneses and you're going to find yourself in a lot of trouble. Now, let's get to Jones A. Okay, so Jones A, they're your typical neighbors, right? They have a lot of things that you see and you admire and you would like to have. But see, what makes Jones A the right category of Jones is because Jones A, they work for what they have. Jones A have learned how to invest and make more money out of, you know, what they have aside for their um, 40 our paycheck they've um they've built these powerful dynasties where they have people that take them to the next level because they've done a lot of networking they've done a lot of resources and and researching so the boats and the yachts and the motorcycles and the groceries that you see, you know, running in and out the house, the vacations that they're taking, all these things produce numbers. And these are effective numbers because, like I said, they've done the research. They've pulled in the right people to get them, you know, where they need to go. So that right there... That Jones in your neighborhood is a good person to be watching and is a good person that you could talk to and that you might want to incorporate in your things because they have a legitimate show going, if you know what I mean. Now, let's move along here to the Jones Bees. Now, the Jones Bees they might look like the Jones A's. It is very, very easy to get these things twisted. They have the boat. They have the cars. They have the yachts. They have the bank accounts. They're doing all of these things like Jones A. But the thing is, what is their formula? See, that's what it boils down to. Formula. What formula is Jones A using and what formula is Jones B using? Excuse me. Because I'm going to let you in on the secret about the Jones B's. Jones B's ain't got no money. They couldn't have. They spending out on everything. Nothing's coming back in. There's a, a $500 car payment out there. There's a wardrobe that they owe a lot of money on. Uh, it's a lot of robbing Peter to pay Paul, and Paul ain't even getting paid, if you will. Let's look at the formula of, of B. Uh, do they have any sponsors? Are they out here getting money from other people? And then they don't they, they spend their money on what they want and take the uh, the uh, the sponsor's money and spend it on what they need. Is somebody sponsoring the EBT card, freeing up the, the grocery bill for them? Is somebody paying some cable? sponsoring and uh, freeing up a cable bill which allows them to go do a little bit more what's going on with these people see it's different elements that's playing out in the background with Jones B that we don't know anything about but we they look good to us so we following them are they pulling sources in from out of town or are they on the phone with some type of story, some type of traumatic lie. 
look, X, Y, and Z didn't happen. I need you to send me some money, Western Union. And you look up, there they are, collecting the check, you know, off of their story. Or, or, or using their looks because they look good. And, and they know people play off of that. So people generating the money. And then they're producing these things that you see in front of you. See, we need the formula. We need the strategy of who we are following. That's why I'm asking, like, you know, why do we feel like it's so important to be out here? It might not be our time to be out here. You know, it might not just be our season. Everybody has a season when God turns them on. Is it your season yet? It might not be. If you question questioning whether it's your season or not, then it's not. Because, see, when God is dealing with you, you going to know he has came to your house. He going to cut the lights on. He going to start working. Everybody is going to see that you are under construction. You are a work in progress. It ain't going to be no secret. Things are going to start happening to you out of the abnormal that never happens to you. So, with that being said, is he in your house yet? He may not be. You know, this is what I find that when you have these things going on, you need to kind of stop. And the best thing you could do before you go following A or B is just be yourself. Be yourself. Because guess what? At the end of the day, it's cheaper to be yourself. Nobody can be you like yourself. It, it don't come with all this extra stress and all these extra price tags. Because when you yourself, you don't try to impress other people. You don't try to do what other people are doing. You don't try to get in this race with people because guess what? You're not even interested in what everybody is interested in. You didn't shot off this way going from the rest of the crowd and you did this, you have discovered something. Oh, what's this side road down here? I didn't know this was down here. And you start walking down that road getting on a journey of discovery and they all somewhere doing their thing they so into each other they so busy trying to impress each other and so grouped up and talking about each other and don't even know it trying to be in the in crowd just don't know it ain't no in crowd they don't even know you gone they, they so busy, clicked up and clanked up, trying to impress and trying to be. They don't even know one of their sheep then straight it away out the herd going down this way. Along your journey, you're going to find some things. And when you turn back around to come back up and you, you know, you show yourself, People going to be shocked because they didn't even know you toured off to go anywhere else when you come back with all these findings. Build your own brand. And I really want to talk about this. This gets deep here. You know, building your own brand. When you do that, there's no strain on you and the relationship that you are coming up with. There's no need to feel like you need to hurry out, hurry up and get out here so eyes can see what you got going and they can see what you're trying to do. You on your own time schedule. You starting to pick out things that you like. And they, they odd and they different things and they rare things because 
you're not hovered up trying to find out what somebody else likes so you can get their kudos. Don't somebody need to be getting your kudos? See, when you build your own brand, this disconnects you from all of the, the felines that's out here. All of the Nikes that's out here. All of the Jordans that's out here. How, how can you be individual? How can you create your work of art? How can anybody see your work of art if you looking like everybody else in a, in a Jordan jumpsuit? It's a thousand people over there that got on a Jordan jumpsuit. What do you like? What makes you look different? What makes you stand out from the crowd? Nobody even knows other, this other stuff that you have going on is out here. Or what brand they have of their own to make other people come look at them because they're too busy rocking something that everybody else rocking. Something that already has a name on it. Something that's already been done and been done to death. What about you building your own brand? 2020, the year of the lady, the year of the gentleman. And let everybody see what comes with your brand. Now, this brand, it will consist of you stripping yourself down. Nobody wants to do that. But I'm just saying, if you want to eliminate yourself from these worldly things, and you want to see what you can do, you're going to have to strip yourself down. And you know, it kind of, you know, sucks at first because you are looking at the generic version of you. You see what I'm saying? You're looking at the generic version of you. You might, you're not going to like the generic version of you. But once you get in this thing, you know, cut your hair off, start over, cut your, you know, start some dreads, whatever you going to do. Thrift shopping. I love thrift shopping. Whatever theme that you trying to you know, get yourself attached to, start creating that version. And like I said, it's, it's going to look a little cheap in the beginning. But then once you end up getting in this thing and go deeper, oh, I like that. I'm going to try that hat. I'm going to try that bow tie. I, I never thought to try nothing like this before. It's going to start picking up y'all its levels to this thing. It's levels. You're going to start reaching these high dynamics of you that you didn't even know were there. And people going to start looking. She doing something different. He doing something way out. I don't know what he on to. I don't know what she on to. But they own to something. And it's so different from what everybody else is doing. They ain't got no other choice but to turn around. Because they wasn't even trying to do it. They were scared. They were scared of what everybody else was going to think if they rocked it. You going to have some haters along the way. You see such and such hair? What they trying to do? You see what old girl had on? What's she trying to do? But you can't worry about that because the whole time they sitting back asking somebody else, apparently you own the something. It's so unique, your brand is so rare, you got to be on the something. Them same people that was hating on you, you going to look up later, they ain't trying it. Got nerd to put a little of their own oomph onto it. Oh, yeah. Now they coming off in your lane. 
Because see, now you starting to become a trendsetter, but a trendsetter of, of, of your own. And you got your own base following you. See, weird don't all the time mean that it can't be a bad weird. It can't be a sharp weird. It can't be an odd, rare, unique, funky ass type of weird. Everything that's done in this world starts from the basics. Whether it's weird, whether it's strange, you take weird and put your twist on it and elevate it to something else. Show them a different type of weird. Something that's strange. Now you put your funk on it and mix it up. Now it's a just flat out funky ass type of strange. A strange you ain't never seen before, Jimi Hendrix type of strange, mixed with a little bit of 2020 strange. See, you can't be shamed of who you are and the role that God has assigned to you. You just got to go in here and work it. I'm telling you, pay attention to what I'm saying. Start building your own brand. Your brand is going to hit harder than any feline line out there. Any Nike line out there. Any Jordan line out there. Your brand going to hit harder than that. Because you are the authentic you. And, and you letting everybody see that you in the mold of self-discovery. They know you turned on. They know you activate it. They one of your biggest fans. Whatever you want to do, that person, there's a person inside of you that's, that's dying to come out. But you keep pushing that person down. You keep pushing that person down. And he slowly or she slowly trying to come out. You know what I'm talking about. You know she in there. You know he in there. But you scared. But guess what? I don't know what you're scared of. Just do it. Anything you ever want to do. If you want to rock a short haircut to, be, to build your brand, cut it all off. If you want to dread up to build your brand, cut it off and dread up. If you want to color your hair, color it. If you want to try this funky, this funky cut, do it. Whatever you scared of to build your brand, do it. Throw it out there in the universe. Send the universe a sign. We coming. We straddled up. We on our way. What Nike say, and they've been saying this for years, just do it. You can't be scared to create your own brand that's going to get you straight. Where you're not worried about what other people doing. You might come to find out what some of these other people doing. You really don't like that. You might get a chance now to show the world something different. They might have thought that was hot until you came with what you came with. Now they looking over here. I'll tell anybody in a minute. I love Camaros. But they're not for me. I see a lot of people in Camaros. It's some badass cars. But that's not my style. I couldn't rock it the way whoever the Camaro driver is rock it. I couldn't do it. I ain't going to try to do it. Because I know that that's not for me. But I can go over here and find me some a little small because I'm a small petite type of lady. I can find me some a little tailor fit for me. I can jump in that and give you hell. The Camaro driver might not jump in what I'm, what I'm in and look as good as what I'm in. They can't do it because that's not their signature. What I'm trying to get y'all to see, we're going to have to stop worrying about these folks, these worldly folks, 
and start getting more customized. Come on, y'all, 2020, you ain't got no other choice. It's either get left, get left behind, or be out here screaming, we out here. I'm telling you. You better do what works for you. Because everybody going to be coming with a budget better than yours. Everybody going to be coming dressed, showing up in something better than yours. But let me tell you a secret to all of that. They squash all of that. If you doing you, they can't touch that. You, you invite them into your world. It's, it, it, this is signature. From my thoughts to come out my head to the words to come out my mouth. To the clothes that's on my body to what I drive. This is signature. You couldn't do nothing with this even if you had the key, baby. When something is real and authentic, you can't touch that. I done admired more people that's just stepped out and done their own thing and showed me. Damn, that's fly. I didn't know you could do that. How you do that? I'm telling you, it ain't it's a bunch of uneducated folks. Black people are geniuses. These people want you to get wrapped up in the Nike. They want you to get wrapped up in the Michael Jordans because they don't want no more geniuses coming out here stepping on their money, stepping on their toes. We know Michael Jordan is a genius. We didn't gave him enough money. What is somebody else going to create a brand to get them off of him? That man got money he'll never see again in his life. He's going to die off of money trying to spend it. Where is the next whom chum boom or whoever the hell you is? And we gave these people a, enough time, and we didn't spent a lot of money in today's brand, and, and we came up even killed about their brands. And we gonna do something that's so rare, so odd, so unique, so dope that people jump off of that and come over to here. We ain't on that shit. Let's leave that shit for the kids. Be happy that you was in the history of history being made when Jordan, when you got to watch him on the screen, when you got to watch his shoes come out, when you remember standing at the malls in line all day and all night long. You can turn around and tell your kids and grandkids, I was a part of that. What you rocking, I can tell you a story about that. But we're going to let y'all have that. We on some new stuff now. You know, the, the, the struggle is just real out of here. So with that being said, I think I executed my main once again. I, I just want to put it in y'all ears out here. Get on something new. Create your own brand. A lot of so-called weirdos, and I'm in that category. A lot of so-called weirdos is out here doing some things that I like. And I'm doing some things that they like. You might be a so-called normal person, but like some a weirdo doing. They want to put that into what you got going on. You ain't wrong with that for adding a little umph to it. A weirdo might like some of the so-called normal stuff you got going and mix it up. A strange person might like what both of y'all got going to incorporate to their thing. Keeping up with the Joneses is too much upkeep. If you like my video, please like share and subscribe. Signing out, Cougar's Closet.